Come on, I said amen. amen. You know, I used to live in a house that was that was rat infested at times. And right, rats are they are dark loving, they are darkness loving creatures. Huh? They don't like to be where they can be seen. That is why you always see them doing they are running into hiding. That's why they are liking to devour us. They are demons. Liking to demons. I don't mean that if you like eating rat, that maybe you are eating evil spirit. That's not what I'm saying. So, one day, rat, in, don't tell anybody this story I'm about to tell you. Rats invaded the house we were living. We just got married newly, my wife and I. <laughs> that was long, that's 1999 or so. We're living in one bedroom flat. And then that rat entered the bedroom. I made a vow that night that I will not sleep until that rat is killed. Come and see, watch night. I stood by the door side with <laughs> something my wife used in turning semo. I stood by the door. I had set trap for the rat. I was waiting. I was waiting. Then we turned off the light. And I was watching. Watching. I stood there after a while. Sleep want to come. I said, sleep, you can't come home. This rat has to die. I was bent on destroying that devourer that is not allowing us to rest. And I stood there. Put some clothes all around. After a while, that stupid rat found his way as he was coming. I turned on the light. Bam! And I killed it. Before I could go back to bed. You know, many of you, you have been enduring nonsense. You sleep with rats in your house. I can tell that you are comfortable with some demons in your life too. Praise God. But today, fire of God will devour every hiding places of the enemy. And set your house on fire for God. No more activities of darkness will prevail in your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you lift your hands and say, Lord, as your light shine over my life, let every hiding place of the enemy be exposed and let every activity of darkness come to an end. Can you lift your voice and pray that prayer for yourself? Everybody pray right now. So tapana ulika parosha. Elina anta hile skubaha. Yala suda kiba ashaliana. In the Roman Tecleso. As your light shine upon us today. Let the activities of darkness come to an end. Let your light shine. And let every dominion of darkness be dispelled. Be destroyed. Let your glory be revealed. Let your power be made manifest. Is somebody talking to God at all? Is somebody praying? Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 In Jesus' mighty name name we pray please take your seat for a moment or two we are getting ready for the communion but if you are here this morning and you are not born again you are not saved before I go ahead to serve the communion I would like to pray with you to surrender your life to Jesus if you are here this morning and you have not made Jesus the Lord of your life or probably you are watching online I'd like you to lift up your right hand wherever you are and pray this prayer after me. Say with me, dear Lord Jesus, today I turn over my life to you. Please come into my heart as my Savior and my Lord. Wash me with your blood. Give me the power to follow you in truth and in spirit all the days of my life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Lord bless you. If you pray that prayer online, please get in touch with us today. Call the number showing on your screen. 
and let us know what the Lord Jesus has done for you. And we'll be obliged to be a part of your story. God bless you. Jesus mighty name. Now I'm about to serve you the communion. What is in the communion to activate your faith? The communion is the greatest tool of deliverance. The greatest tool of deliverance. Hear me. Anybody who is always taking the communion should never be embarrassed, harassed by any devil. Because there is power in the blood. The Bible said in the book of Revelation 12 and verse 11, they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. If they overcame Satan by the blood, then there is nothing else that is left to be overcome. If you conquer Satan, you have conquered everything. You've conquered the one that has power of death and grave. Not only was Satan disarmed, not only was he conquered, not only was he brought under, I saw a scripture that blessed me so tremendously. In the book of Hebrew, I think Hebrew verse, verse 13, Hebrews 13 verse 20. He said, now the God of peace that brought again from the dead, brought again from where? From the dead, Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant. Huh? Through the blood of the everlasting covenant. That is, even Jesus couldn't have resurrected without the blood he shed. That means his resurrection was by the blood. That means even death is under the influence of the blood. The blood has power over death. Jesus conquered death by the blood. Jesus triumphed over death by the blood. Grave was conquered by the blood. And guess what? That day when he resurrected, the Bible said, all the graves were opened. That's Matthew 27. He said the graves were opened. And all the Old Testament saints that slept, all of them resurrected. Because the blood conquered death and conquered grave. So as I serve you communion this morning, in case death has captured your soul, in case grave has arrested you, in case Satan himself is sitting over your life, your star, your destiny, get ready for liberation. Get ready for freedom. As you are partaking, you are not just eating chaff. You are not just drinking wine. You are eating the flesh and the blood of Jesus. It makes a lot of difference. And I see your story changing today. Come on. I said, I see your story changing today. I am not one of the pastors who believe that the communion is a symbol. No, I don't believe that. Why I don't believe that is based on scriptures. He said the bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? The wine which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? It may be ordinary wine and bread. But the moment I'm through consecration, consecrating, it changes form. In this kingdom, whatever you call a thing is what it is. And as I serve you the body and the blood of Christ today, your story is changing. Come on, I said your story is changing. Bow your heads and talk to the Lord and expect the miraculous.